welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you my review of the Baby Low Snug Sleeper. I would call it, it's a, to me, it's, it's a crib, but it's also a crib that you could take with you on travels. But uh, essentially, this is a crib that I purchased um, at uh, Smith's Toys. And I purchased this about, it's probably going almost to nine months now when I first had my baby. Uh, he was in here from pretty much birth uh, up until he was six months. And I mean, that's what it says. It's, uh, it's used for babies from birth up to six months or when they can actually sit up on their own. But even then I'm like, Ugh. so for me, my child, it was six months. Uh, overall, it's, just, it's a really good crib. Really, really easy to put together, okay? Like, I'm not going to have a video. I'm not going to show you guys on how to assemble it because it is straightforward. You get instructions. It's like a, in a booklet that you get. Simple. You have screws and an Allen key that you, um, that you will uh, attach onto the legs here. Really straightforward, okay? Uh, so, at the bottom here um you like these parts you have to put on and i don't know if you can see but uh they've got screws here too on this side so that is what you will put in and then you take the allen key and you just screw it in uh and same thing on the other side and once everything is put together then this part you just attach on top and um and that's it and then you've got um your padded mattress as well so it's very thin, probably about the size of, uh, the width of my index and middle finger. Um, and soft, like you can literally scrunch it up, get the clothes back together. Um, it's safe for the baby. And then the inside of here is just, it's a hard, hard board. Uh, and then you also have your mesh lining. So this is, this was big for me. This is one reason why I got this because, you know, babies have the tendency to always gravitate to a side where it just, it feels like comfort to them, at least with mine. And so it, it was something that I didn't always have to worry about. Like if he was, his face was right up to the mesh, at least I know, I knew he was breathing, right? Because there's holes, there's like little tiny holes all around the mesh here. Um, and then this can come, this part, it seems, I mean, there's a zipper here, so I'm just going to unzip it for you here, just so you can see what's underneath. So this is like a bar, like a circular bar right here. So if you've got like, I don't know, younger children or just anything, if you feel like, you know, someone's going to hurt themselves by hitting their head or hitting their hand too hard on here. Is there's cushion so you really can't hurt yourself here to be honest with you um, so there's two zippers so I'll go on this side now and then zip and then you can see what I'm talking about how they have so see here's the bar this is the bar part here and then here they have this like foam um, around it cushiony foam and so like this can come off. Let me do this side here. And so the zipper, it literally pulls off. So it's great. So let's say if you want to uh, give it a wash, I think. Is it possible? I, I haven't. Yes, it is. So I haven't washed it because it, it, I've taken really good care of it. But if you can see here inside of the board, there is Velcro. So if you pull the Velcro off, then this pulls off the sheeted part, and then the board comes out so that you can clean the rest of this of this crib, the mesh part. Just really brilliant. You know? So I'm just gonna put it back together because I'm not gonna clean it right now. So once you put everything back together, and so you can see like there's Sides here, this 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 wasn't ripped. This was meant to be like that here. Um. Okay. I'm just gonna put 
everything back on. First time doing this because like I said I've never washed this before so let's see how this goes in regards to putting everything back on actually before I do that I just want you to see I want you to see you know um, what what you're working with here so um, at the top midway here right here where I'm hitting there are two like like press down buttons like, like levers and what you do this is to um, bring ta, ta, to carry the crib up or bring it down to a lower level. So when you press right now, I think it's on, there are six levels, right? So yeah, I've got them on all on the highest. And so when I press down, I, I can just let go. Like I'm holding on to the levers, the levers, but then I'm just letting it drop and then I let go. If I want to bring them back up now, or to a certain height, so that's one, it locks on each one, all right? And then, actually, yeah, there we go. That's two, and all the way up. Sometimes it just goes right up, right? So, um, when it's at the bottom, all you, do, you, all you have to do is just bring up. When it's at the top, or when it's at a level, then you have to use the levers to bring them down. Simple as that. Now, I'm going to put this back in. And give this a go. Okay. Put aside. Okay. seems to be the best here uh, with the diamonds on it um, and the other side is just mesh mesh holes it's kind of like the out of the lighting of the crib so you just place it back in and done okay, so the next thing you need to know is the legs at the bottom I don't know if you can see but there are wheels right here Really, really cool. Comes in handy when you're trying to move this around. Um, instead, of, instead of having to pick it up, if you notice, if I were to like try and get up, do you see how this is starting to move forward? Now, can you imagine having a baby in here and doing that? They, that's very, very dangerous. Now, it's not supposed to be like that. 
there is a feature on here that prevents this from happening. What it is is, here at the bottom, remember the two levers here to bring it up and down? Well, you've got two levers at the bottom on the legs to bring it, to bring them, to extend them out and in. So when you hold on to it, actually you don't need to hold on to it, it should just come out until you hear a lock. It's when, when, it's when you want to retract it that you have to hold on to the lever because there's like a, oh, not a screw, but this like silver thing right here. It's like a, uh, I don't know what you call it, but if you press it down, it's what helps to prevent, like let's say you're trying to bring it in, that's what stops it from going in unless you are using the lever. And even when you are using the lever, you've got to press it down just a little and have another hand to then, so you push it in just a little and then you can just do that to get it in. Okay, so there's that button, press down with the lever and then slide it so you get the button in. Once the button's in, you can just either bring it down like that. Okay, so when you send them out like so, and let's say you have a little one who, you know, like me, um, is all curious about their little, the little, the little sibling. You, you know, and they'll just be like, oh, I want to see, I want to see, and then the baby falls out, right? You don't want that. So now, do you notice how I'm, I'm trying to now get up and it's not moving because the legs keep it from tipping over. I'm just able to do this because I'm using force to bring it up. Okay, so that is a really good feature. I shouldn't say it's a feature. This is something you need to have open when you have your baby in here. Do not close these legs at all. They have to be open because you just don't want to tip your baby over. All right, you can't move it when it's in um, extended mode here. The only way you can move it is like when you retract. So let me retract these. If you want to move it, you tip forward and move like that. Simple as that. But when it's like this, you can't move it. You always have to tip it forward. Obviously, with the baby not inside the crib, but yeah, just and it's so light, y'all. It really is to move this this crib. Now the crib does not come with. Um, mattress covering. So I had to buy my own, which I got um, on Smith's Toys as well. They sell the coverings. So I bought like two different patterns. Well, one was just a plain, I'll show you here. One is just a plain white um, mattress covering. And at Smith's Toys, they, they have the, the right size fitting for this uh, crib, which is good. So I didn't have to search all high and low for the a particular size. Um, and then we got one with stars on it as well. This was very stretchy though, compared to the other one. And we got, you know, babies, they do throw up a lot and you're constantly changing covers, uh, but you really want to protect this part from staining or getting wet. So we bought a waterproof covering. So this part is like the waterproof here. And we just put it over the, uh, the mattress. And then um, to be honest with you, I can use this because when you flip it over, this is like the soft side. You could probably use this just as the covering, really, when you think about it. But it probably, I mean, you can always put another one over. But the, the texture feels just like the white one here, plain white one. So I think this is just, it's waterproof, but it's also used as a sheet, not a, uh, a waterproof sheet mattress, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's my review on the Baby Low Snug Sleeper that I purchased from Smith's Toys with the mattress sheets as well. I really, really enjoy this uh, crib uh, because one, I love the fact that it's movable. You can move it anywhere. 
you could even take it with you uh, if you're going on vacation and stuff like that. It doesn't come with a um, a bag to put in it to put it in, but you can easily buy a travel bag for cribs online somewhere like Amazon. Uh, and I just like I said, this did it for me. The mesh lining around the crib to protect my kid from not suffocating. And I love the safety features of the legs to prevent it from tipping over. So right now it's tipping because I haven't extended the legs as you can see. Um, and the fact that this whole entire uh, uh, lining is washable. It's so important to have things like this that you can wash when it gets dirty. Or let's say you have another child, you're about to have another child, you know, you want to make sure that everything is nice and clean and sanitized. So I, I really, really, really enjoyed this sleeper. It was really easy to put together, like one, two, three. It wouldn't even take you 20 minutes to put together, y'all. The instructions are clear. You have everything that you need. You don't need to go out and buy anything. Use a hammer, use whatever. It all is provided for you. Like I said, it comes with the Allen key, the, the screws, and that's it. Like, it's so simple. Well, that is it. Thank you for watching this review. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And thank you for watching. Y'all take care. Stay blessed. Bye for now.